you tell me who you are here today? My name's Jo and I work with Scotland's Coastal Archaeology and the Problem of Erosion, which is a very um, difficult acronym which we, which we hardly ever explain, SCAPE. And I'm based, SCAPE? Yes, SCAPE. And based at uh, the University in St Andrews. About 15 years ago, um, a man called Patrick Ashmore in Historic Scotland realised that Scotland's coastal heritage, a lot of which is world class, is being destroyed through coastal processes. So he created SCAPE to really get a, an overview of the problem and 20 years of coastal surveys have generated a really good database of coastal heritage sites but some of that information is 20 years old so it's important to keep this data up to date and refreshed and to use it to manage our coastal heritage better. So coastal heritage, can you give me some examples of what that might mean? Yes, um, so if we go up to the Northern Isles or the Western Isles, you could be looking at a settlement mound where you've got Neolithic at the bottom and medieval at the top. If you go to Fife, you can have industrial heritage like lime kilns, coal mines, salt pans. Um, if you go to some of the quiet uh, sort of lochans on the, on the coast, you can find boat graveyards of fishing heritage. So it's a huge range of, huge range of things. How can people learn about you and what would they see? If you type Scotland's Coastal Heritage at Risk into any search engine, you'll find us and then you can join us. Uh, we recruit and train and support volunteers to help us update records. So behind me, if you, your camera might be able to see a map of Scotland with lots of dots on it. Each of those dots is a coastal heritage site that we're interested in and we would love for somebody to update. It's really a question of eyes on the ground, visiting a site in your local area, taking some photographs and filling out a simple form so that we have an up-to-date re record of that site's condition. Well, awesome. Thank you so much.